welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you guys my new palette that I got from BH Cosmetics and it's called take me back to Brazil the packaging is really cute so I'm excited I'm going to explore with it it has a mirror in it which is perfect so if you want to see what look I do with this palette, keep on watching. Go ahead and give me a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So here's the palette. Here's what it looks like. Um, don't know what uh, what look I want to do just yet. But the colors are so pretty. So I think this one right here, you know, the, the shades don't have shade names. So I'm just going to point them out. This one right here, it's like a peachy color. So I believe this palette was $12, I believe. And I was surprised that it was that affordable. And I looked at the reviews and they all looked good. So I was like, I'm getting this palette. I need a colorful palette only had one other eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics. Color looks good. It's blending out good so far. I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to do I'm going to do this red shade right here. I'm going back in with a fluffy brush and I'm blending those shades together with no additional product. I didn't think I was gonna go for a look like this, but here we are. I was kinda thinking about doing like something blue or green, but I always gravitate towards the peach colors. So I think I'm gonna cut the crease. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Uh, 16 hour caramel concealer. I'm obsessed with doing cut creases. I don't know why, but just my babe. <laughs> I'm going to take a flat brush like this one and I'm taking this light pink in the corner right here. And I'm just packing it on. So I just wanted to tell you guys that I've been so busy lately with work. I've been picking up uh, extra shifts. So if you're wondering why I haven't posted in a while, that's why. I've been trying to make time but it's hard with having kids and working also just got a new camera which I'm excited about which means I'll have better quality videos so here's what it looks like so far I don't know I think I'm just gonna keep this lid matte and maybe darken it up more and I'm gonna take my little brush that I used earlier and I'm gonna take this pink dark pink color here or maybe purple and I'm gonna blend it in the corner here I haven't created a pink look in a while actually that's a lie last video I did <laughs> pink and uh, yellow I'm getting Valentine vibes again I'm surprised this was so affordable and it's blending out so good I think I want to get more BH cosmetics products let me know down in the comments if you have any BH Cosmetics uh, products. Let me know if you are a fan of them or not. Definitely their packaging is different. And I'm loving the vibe of it. I think they had another palette like this one that's Take Me to Brazil or something. I forget what it's called. But they have another palette that's similar but different. Take in some more of that pink purple shade and blending it in with the crease a little bit to make it look seamless. It's always my worst fear is having an unblended sharp line, you know what I'm saying? I don't like that look. Or that my shadows aren't blended well enough, which sometimes I that happens to me because I'm a mom and my boys, <laughs> they need my attention. Sometimes I cannot finish my makeup. I don't have enough time to make it look the way I want it, you know? So it definitely takes time. It takes a lot of your time to make your makeup look good. All right. 
this eye is done and I'm gonna go off camera and do the other eye and I'll be right back. Hey okay, guys, I am back and the other eye is done. excited because this palette blended so good and the colors are so pretty and I'm loving this look um yeah so I'm happy that it was affordable yeah it was a great palette so I'm not disappointed so next I'm gonna get some lashes on and this one's from BXD lashes B glam medley and I'll tag or I'll link down below the lashes because they have a different name now on Instagram and I forget what they're called and it kind of confused me because I couldn't find them on Instagram but yeah I will link it down below and that's where you can find the lashes but they're really good they're cute and also lost my little plastic holder for my lashes but coat them with glue and while they while they dry I'm going to curl my lashes I'm getting real low on this lash glue I have a backup though because it's one of the best lash glues I think so I have a backup and I always like to do mascara after I put my lashes on I don't know why but I heard that that was the best way to do it so sorry I'm trying to multitask okay I like to curl my lashes because my outer corner of my eyelashes they like to droop down and you can really tell that I'm wearing lashes when my lashes do that so I make sure to curl them up we fixed this lash it was giving me a hard time but here we are we're back and I'm gonna put on some wet n wild mega volume mascara and blend my lashes in with the falsies I also put on my upper waterline some it's from physicians formula it's just the eyeliner I put in my waterline and I put this too close to my inner corner because it's rubbing and it's irritating my eyes so that's that but I'm over it because I was done with that for moisturizer I got the touch and soul glassy glassy skin balm it's hydrated and I'm getting low on it and my lips have been peeling so bad because of the weather for primer, I have the Wonder Beauty, and it's called Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. I guess that's a face oil, not a primer, but I'm using it as a primer. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, and it feels hydrating. So for foundation, this is new. It's from Revlon, and it's called the Candid, oh, it's Photo Ready Candid Glow. And the shade is 110. I tried this a couple days ago already and I like the finish of it. It's dewy. Maybe not that like full coverage or anything. Maybe it's low medium coverage. Oh okay. It says light buildable coverage. So yeah, that's pretty accurate. Um I'm gonna take a foundation brush like this one, squirt some on my hand. I got dry skin so foundations like these are good. Some matte foundations work with me like the uh, Maybelline Fit Me. That's a matte one that works pretty good with my skin. I just have to make sure I moisturize and prime good but um, that works pretty good. Or maybe stay away from matte foundations when my face is kind of on the drier side, you know? So that's the only thing. And this feels lightweight. I like it. I need a mirror y'all. It's like a light coverage, which I don't mind because that's more my style. The full coverage feels like, you know, not like natural. <laughs> I like the dewy, natural looking finish. I'll bring it back. I'm going to get a sponge. And I need to go wet it. I wetted a sponge that I got from a BoxyCharm. I think it was called Pixie or something like that. And then for concealer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is a good one if you're on a budget and you're looking for a hydrating concealer and you're dry as heck and you don't want to look like a cakey mess, then this is the one to get. I believe it's like $6. It's worth your money. Y'all, I don't have a mirror. <sighs> My setup isn't good yet. <laughs> He was just woke up. Come say hi, boo boo. He was just woke up. Come 
was just taking a nap and he's awake. If you guys can't see him working around the baby. Okay, I'll be right back. Hey. And then we'll get the blush foundation. Not foundation. <laughs> we'll get the bronzer and the blush on. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I added my powders, which I used. Uh, CoverGirl True Blend Minerals, loose mineral powder. So I, uh, I used that. I use Kylie Cosmetics bronzer. Then for blush, I use the Ciate London Marble Light in the shade Dusk. Looks like that. I, I use some of this on my cheekbones and on my brow bone. But I wanted to tap into, yeah, this palette. They have a shimmer here, which I think I'm going to add to my inner corner. And maybe on my brow bone as well. Okay, so yeah, the shade, the shimmer. I'm going to take a little bit and put it on my inner corner. Just to see what the deal is with it. Okay, not bad for a shimmer. It's a little powdery, but it's not bad. I'm glad they put it in there. It's, it's a good touch to the palette. I also like that there's a black shade here. Um, it's nice to have a black shade in here, just in case you want to use it for like eyeliner or something. And then they also have a green shimmer over here. Ah, light blue mint color. I don't know what to call it. Yeah, like a shimmer shade here. And then when I first looked at this, I thought they were all matte. But when you look closely, there's some shimmers. There's a shimmer row down here. Some of them have a slight shimmer to it, like that one, that one. You know what? I'm going to do some swatches. Why not? So. And that pink shade right here has a little bit of shimmer in it, too. I didn't realize. I thought it was a matte. Next row. Okay, so those were the swatches of the palette that I used. Um, I love the way they blended. They look amazing on the eyes. Uh, when you swatch it, of course, it looks like you need to build it up a little bit, but once you blend it out on your eyes, it's a little different than just swatches. So just, it's, it'll take some time to build it up, the color, but other than that, for the price, it's a really good palette. So I really love it. For lips, I have the new e.l.f. Um... Seriously Satin, it says. But yeah, I just got this and the shade is Taffy. That color is pretty and it goes on smoothly. I really like this new lipstick from e.l.f. I'm forgetting something. I am going to blend out a color under my eyes. I'm going to blend out this shade right here. It's like peach color. The one I used in my crease. I'm going to buff it out on the outer corner here. Just to add a little something. I'm going to... Put on some lower mask or put on some mascara on my lower lashes. I'm gonna take my setting spray I got in a box of charm a while back. It's called In Beauty Project Power Up Dual Face Setting Spray. Alright, guys, this is the final look, and I'll show you up close. So if you're considering buying this palette, I'd say go for it. It's worth the price. It is affordable and it works well. It performs well. So if you want it, get it. It's a good, colorful look so far. I like it. Um, I still need to go for like the greens and yellows and see how well those perform. But so far, so good. I'm liking it. I will update you guys maybe in my next video. So... Thank you so much for watching and give me a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye.